these are helpful. Bitter, though. Bandits aren't subtle. Clearing them out would send a different kind of message. You're not afraid of little old me, are you? Shot knocked it off. Search is off. I win. Intention here. Gonna tear you down. Take 
take that one down. He's close. on hard. Fun. There's something in that grass. a stick. Ah. 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 Oh. Make a pain. Got you a present. Let's see. Wow.
You large skulls let an intruder get in here! Don't let them get out again! Find them! Kill them! Are you steel or are you slag? Get him! Are you steel or are you slag? Get him! Huh. Haven't you got anything better to do? you Your invitation. Are you steel or are you slag? Get him!
here. She's coming. Somebody needs to get something and I'm gonna get it. Steal or are you slag? Get him! This is gonna look real good on you. I hate this weapon, I miss!
anything else. Chaos Rom's fire weapon. Could come in handy. You're dead. It won't be long before the Werak finds out I took out the bandit camp. In fact, I'll bet my name's all over Song's Edge. Might be time to challenge Aratok. Olgrid and his bandits think nothing of killing. They spill your guts just to steal a single arrow from your quiver. The daemon wants to turn the machine.
My people have been telling tales of your accomplishments. Seems you have taken a special interest in our stretch of snow, Outlander. Yes. And apparently this is the only way I'll get to see all of it. Is this a challenge? For the Warrack. You? <laughs> this must be a joke. It is not a joke, Eratok. Now I see. The Outlander's your pawn. And with you backing her claim, I have no choice but to accept. I expected better of you, sister. It was you who forbid me from Thunder's drum, brother. Brother and sister? This is a little more complicated than I thought. No, it's simple. You will meet me at the Frost Figures, and I'll put a quick end to this mockery. I suppose I owe you an explanation. Yeah. I suppose you do. So why didn't you tell me that you and Aratok are siblings? I thought I wouldn't have to. I'm surprised Aratok brought it up in front of a stranger. He must be very angry. I'm not always the best judge of... People. I prefer the company of spirits. They're simply my own. I didn't want you to think of our pilgrimage as some sort of family squabble. It's much more important than that. It's bold, I'll give you that. Going after your own brother. He gave me no choice. He thinks I'm a child to be shoved to the back of the hunt. He would forbid me from my destiny. And yet, part of me did it knowing he would forgive me, eventually. He always does. Family drama aside, what's this challenge meant to be anyway? You and Aratok will hunt machines at the Frost Figures. The victor will be the fastest. It won't be easy. Nothing about this has been so far. When you meet us at the starting point, I'll tell you more. It will be simpler to explain from the base of the hills. Araya, it's not about who's related to who. I want to know what's inside Thunder's drum. The spirit, the daemon, and how it all connects to the machines. But if we're gonna go through with this, I need you to be straight with me. I... underestimated you. And Aratok. I won't make that mistake again. I'll see you at the Frost Figures, then. So, off to risk my life in order to take charge of a Banuke hunting band. Just what I always wanted. Frost figures, here I come. Okay, the Frost figure should be just up there. Figures. Aratok and Araya must be close. Outlander. I have prevailed over such challenges before, and fear none. But this one is foolish. You are not Banuk. You do not understand my responsibilities. I ask you, one hunter to another, withdraw.
Will you let us go to Thunderstrum? You haven't seen what's up there, Outlander. I will not risk my sister's life again. Then we better get on with this. So be it! I will bury your insolent claim in the frozen ground! Enough! Let us begin! To hunt! To strive! That is the way of the Banuk and of the contest before you. You will climb the frost figures from the east, Aratok from the west. Each trail wends its way through deadly machines. Hunters from the Werak will be posted along the way. They will hail you, calling out machines for you to slay. Your hunt will take you around the ridge to the center, where you must descend to the valley for your final kill. Each time, after your prey has fallen, you must launch a beacon such as this so that all our kin will see your progress. Kill machines, launch balloons. Got it. So, the first of us to launch the third balloon wins? Well, yes. Now this challenger, your path to victory is harder. If even one of your beacons comes in after Eratox, he prevails. <laughs> you had your chance, Outlander. So did you. The hunt begins on my mark. Gotta head up that mountain. Looks like there are a few ways to go up, and those rock paintings mark the path. Okay, up we go. Time's wasting. I seem to be on the right path. to the top. All right, Challenger. We need to take out the herd below. Every machine. Kill a herd. Okay, I can do that.
Parker. Come on, climb up here. All right, here we go. Now climb the ridge and launch your balloon. Haratok knows what he's doing. No time to waste. Take the rappel point to the next challenge. Don't dally up there. Two bellowbacks ahead, the challenger. challenger. Kill them both. None of the other machines matter. All right, two dead bellowbacks coming up.
Jade, those eyes have to finish me. Raise your marker! Okay, now to the marker. Come on over here and launch your balloon! I'm ahead, but only by a little. I gotta get moving. Now take the zipline and work your way down to the valley. Storm's kicking up. Can't see much. down. All right, it's the last challenge. Something's wrong. My kin should be here, driving in our final quarry.
So it's true. Frost Claws from Thunder's Drum. The attack cut short the competition. Naturally, there can be no result. It is void. You saw what she did. She defeated the machines, not I. It is proven. She is the better hunter. We are Banuk. Survive, prevail. What else matters? My blood is in your teeth. I take my place behind you on the hunt. No more hunters may make the ascent to Thunder's Drum. The way is closed to all but the chieftain and myself. It is not my place, but I would ask a boon. To accompany you and my sister. It might be permitted. But only if you do as I say. No. Only if you do as I say. Thunder's drum awaits. There's a camp at its base, Long Notch it's called. Meet us there when you're ready. Chieftain. I can't feel my... a new outfit. And a weapon like Aratox. I guess the Chieftain gets the Chieftain's gear. And now it's a long notch. Nothing left to keep me from Thunder's drum. Not too much already. This must be the ruin Laola was talking about. It did. Before that, too, like she said. Snapples. Probably came from somewhere like River. Follow the river, find its source. Seems simple enough.
There. That must be where the water's coming from. Looks like something the old ones built. Somebody wanted in. Nearly blew this entire ledge off just to get through the door. Flooding detected. Evacuation recommended. Overflow basin compromised. The overflow basin. Is that the dip? Looks like a control center. What happened in here to start the water flowing? Another holographic interface. This piece is missing. Not getting in here without it. Intake tower malfunction. Drainage system offline. That's probably not good news. Most of the facility is underwater. How did this happen? I should be able to shut this place down from here. Ugh, someone made a mess of this. If I had the right parts, I'll bet I could get it working again. Focus could find something I've missed. Someone has been through here. Not that long ago. Right? Are you all right? <laughs> well, you don't know how happy you just made me. <laughs> For a moment, I thought my fire was snuffed. My forge gone cold. But nope, nope. Not old Gildan. You're welcome. Uh, wait. Start from the beginning. What are you doing down here? Ow! My apologies. When you mostly talk to yourself, you can tell your stories in whatever order you like. There's an artifact in that storage room I simply must acquire. But as you may have noticed, the door won't budge. I took one of those roundish, ringy what's-its from the wall beside the door. No luck. So I had to go at that panel with the button. Even less luck. My gentle experimentation caused the chamber to... flood. So I pushed the button again, perhaps a little too enthusiastically. Sparks and smoke. <laughs> now, obviously, I came here to investigate. My... cautious footsteps may have contributed slightly to the collapse of a bridge. 
And when the bridge began to collapse, I may have, for the sake of expedience, abandoned the cumbersome ringy what's it to the waves. By the time I thought to give up the endeavor, the door had closed behind me. <laughs> and thusly do we come to the present moment. You said something about an artifact? Indeed. That storage room is brimming with treasures from the old ones. But one in particular caught my eye. An intricate looking glass. I've only seen one such device before. My old mom brought one back for me from, from wherever she'd gone to that time. I remember holding it, staring into its face, and seeing myself and my mother just over my shoulder, smiling. And one of these looking glasses. It's in the storage room. Oh, yes. I'm quite sure. I peered into that dim little chamber, and there it was. I've wanted to find one for so long, I... Yes, this time I'm sure I have. Well, there's no way we're getting into that storage room without another ring. It's part of the locking mechanism that controls the door. You don't say. Well, that's fantastic news. Marvelous, even. You've got two hands. I've got two hands. Perfect. <laughs> my savior, my salvation. And if you like, why wouldn't you? Of course you will. My accomplice. <laughs> Together, that ring is as good as ours. And with it, the storage room and its spoils. Didn't you say you dropped the ring in the water? Well, I'll grant you that adds a heretofore undiscussed level of complexity to the proceedings. So you found the button that controls the flow of water. Quite by accident. And then you broke that button. Also quite by accident. The panel's the only way to shut this place down, as far as I can tell. This isn't going to be easy. That storage room is filled, top to bottom. Would you be surprised to find the parts you need in there? I certainly wouldn't be. So, we need to replace that ring and get into the storage room. Then I can fix the panel and shut this place down. And I can finally wrap my fingers around that looking glass. Okay, Gildan. How are we gonna get that ring? Two sets of hands, girl! Two sets of hands! Behind us lie a pair of enormous gates, but I believe the gates must be operated in tandem. Together, we can dry this place out. Guess we better get started, then. I guess we better. Up ahead, girl. See the valve? Time to put our hands to use. I'll take care of this one. There's another valve on the other side to lock the gate in place. Would you mind heading across and uh, doing the honors? You know, I'm reminded of a gel by took out the plane. How about stagnant water? Charming. what they were for, do you? Marvelous! You made it! Now grab that valve and give it a spin. On it. A little more now, and I should be able to get the blasted gate moving. There. You should be able to lower the gate. Huh? Right you are! Now, when I get this gate down, you'll need to turn the valve again. Ought to lock this thing in place. One gate down. Halfway through then, aren't we? To the second gate! A ladder is a rare and special thing, girl. Can depend on it to take you exactly where you need to go and no further. I'd wager the valves for the second sluice gate are somewhere above us. 
How are we gonna get up there? Let me look around. See what I can find. Looks like I could jump across on that rickety resting platform. Where's my way up? Nice! Jump! <laughs> nice! What am I saying? That was stupendous! Never seen such absolute disregard for personal safety! Thanks, I think. Oh, you're close, girl! Just spring across the gap! Ah, uh -huh. you're right above me! Just send that ladder on down! Look out below! Now we've done this once before. Should be as easy as falling down a hole! If you'd take the valve on the other side... If it's set up the same way on this side, I should look for an access tunnel. Gildan, turn the valve! It's not working! Damn thing's too heavy. Glance behind me, would you? See anything big and, uh, broken? Looks like part of the counterweight broke off. If I can get up there, my weight might be enough to get it moving again. Uh, hang on, okay? I've got a plan. I can't jump straight to the counterweight from here. But I could climb higher, but above it.
Almost low enough to jump. You can make it! Let's see another one of those mad leaps! <laughs> Got it. We're good to go! You were a sight to see! Bounding from metal rust trap to metal rust trap! <laughs> Still a bit of water, but low enough, wouldn't you say? Now then, uh, where's that ring? Good question. Well, at least I should be able to swim now. Snap Maw! It's a Snap Maw! Very, very big Snap Maw! I see it, Gildan! Very big, very, very big! Just stay out of the way! Dead. You were right. Marvelous. This thing did so fall the, the uh... <laughs> That's the old Gildan intuition in action. It's never led me astray. Sure, its chosen routes can be a bit circuitous, but never mind. To the storage room. To the spoils. Oh, what's in here? More old world treasures, perhaps? This place is full of surprises. Should we have a look? Didn't you want to get into the storage room? I do. Fervently. But, well, I got time to poke my nose in if you did. I can't wait, I can't wait! The lock positions. Helpful. Uh... What... Um... 
What are you doing with your hands there, girl? <laughs> I can't believe that worked. I thought you'd lost your mind tickling the empty air like that. Okay, let's fix the panel and shut this place down. What a stolen in here. Gildan? Everything okay? I was so sure I saw it. The looking glass. I... I'm so sure. Right there in the window. I would... Of course. Trick of the light. Nothing at all. I'm sorry, Gildan. It must have meant a lot to you. Oh, well. Much as any artifact of the old ones would mean to me, really. It's fine. Uh, I'm fine. Besides... What are the spoils compared to the Delve? That's why we do it, girl. <laughs> the Delve, not the treasure. <laughs> and what a Delve it was! Ugh! By the great Blazing Forge, I'll never forget that. Now then, I uh, believe we have some repairs to make. It's a whole lot prettier, isn't it? <laughs> what does it mean? It means it worked. By the forge! Ah, you are a wonder! Do you hear that often? I'll hazard a guess you do. I've heard something like that once or twice. Oh, she's modest now. A master of the arts of the old ones, a delver to shame the entire claim, and she wants to be modest. It's not like I did it alone, Gildan. No. No, I suppose not. So what's next for you? On your way back to the claim? And deprive the people of Song's Edge the story of this encounter? Perish the thought! <laughs> I'll stay there a while longer. But a story is best told by all who encountered it. Come and lend a hand, won't you? Overflow basin empty. Interior accessible. Minimal flood damage. Sounds like the basin is dried out too. We all take a look. Another adventure so soon? Woo! You're braver than me. Oh, there's no question of that. already at the dim.
kidding about the sound. <laughs> Be the entrance to this den. You look happy to be playing again. I don't know what you did, but the water drained in the snap of a short song. What do you think of the music? I've never heard anything else like it. That's because there's no other place with such resonance, such intonation that rattles your ribs with its power. And of course, no one else knows these pipes like I do. I learned them by ear before I could walk, strapped to my father's back. Thank you for draining the waters. Not just for myself, but for my ancestors and their songs. Please, take this as a token of our gratitude. Very cold. I get it. <laughs> 